Dissenting voices in the church began earnestly in the wake of Vatican II and after the promulgation of Humani Vitae. Here to underscore a key player in the confusion regarding the church's teaching on sexual morality is Church Militants reporter Dr. Paul Morano, who actually has his doctorate in marital theology. Thanks, Hunter. The 1960s and 70s were a defining time for Western civilization, challenged by the devil-inspired sexual revolution. In tonight's in-depth report, we remember a chief dissenter of the time who condemned, whose condemned book formed seminarians for a generation. And he will raise you up on eagle's wings. Father Anthony Kosnick died five years ago today, but his legacy lives on in clerics and theologians who continue to support sexual deviance in the culture of death. Kosnick served as a priest in the Archdiocese of Detroit for 47 years before renouncing his vows to marry his girlfriend in 2002. He taught moral theology and served as dean at St. Cyril and Methodius Seminary until he was fired in 1982 by order of Rome. Pope Benedict penned an 11-page essay on the topic. He wrote, the sexual revolution and the liberalization of the church's moral teachings contributed to decades of abuse. Kosnick's biggest contribution to moral corruption came from the influential book, Human Sexuality, New Directions in American Catholic Thought, of which he was chief editor. Published in 1977, the book was greeted warmly by sodomites and dissidents before it being officially condemned by the Vatican's doctrinal office in 1979. Kosnick refused to recant the book's claims that fornication, masturbation, cohabitation, adultery, homosexual behavior, and bestiality are all morally neutral. As a result, he was forced out of his Catholic teaching position. In 2002, Catholic League President Bill Donahue blamed Kosnick's book as a key corrupting influence of the clergy homosexual scandal. The intellectuals in this country and abroad, mostly in the Western world, uh, they are the people who are, who are pushing for this kind of sexual liberation. Kosnick rejected the church's moral doctrine, as seen in Casti Canubi, Humanae Vitae, and Persona Humana, and rejected natural law by ignoring procreation as the primary end of marriage. In other words, like many dissenters of his time until the present, Kosnick delinked the intrinsic connection between sex and childbearing, separating the unitive and procreative significance of love while rejecting moral absolutes of the Sixth Commandment. His so-called integral approach to sex emphasized personal affection and situational ethics over reason, revelation, and church authority. So there is something permanent about morality that does not change amidst all the changes of society which undoubtedly do take place. Five years after his death, if by grace and repentance Father Kosnick is in heaven, it may be safe to say he's praying fervently for all the souls influenced by his dangerous anti-Catholic book. Kosnick wants criticized Pope St. Paul VI for predicting in his 1968 encyclical Humani Vitae, serious harm would come from widespread use of contraception. Didn't take long to realize Humani Vitae was prophetic. 